Okay, I'm continuing my little series of MacBook Ubuntu conversion 64-bit videos, and it's been a f few more days than I wanted to, to do an update on, but um, the first couple days I didn't really have any issues, and then I kind of noticed uh, some more additional issues, and I was like, well, these are like little small ones, and I don't want to spam people over and over about them, so... Here's like a compilation of issues so far. Uh, it is the 24th, so it's about 12 days since I did the uh, first video that you see here. Uh, first issue I noticed I had, because um, I went and decided to do some YouTube, because guess what, I do YouTube videos. <laughs> Go figure. Um... And I found out basically my mouse didn't work with any flash video at all. I could click on it all I wanted, nothing happened. I could use my keyboard, you know, use arrow keys to do playing, you know, spaceball to pause, stop it, all that. That worked, but the mouse didn't work at all. So I had to go through and do some crazy um, script hack of some sort to make the. Uh, now I'll start working with Flash Player. Well, unfortunately, um, you know, left mouse, as you can see, it will start and stop it. But if I try and do a right click, it doesn't right click. I'm trying to do the right click thing, and we're not getting anything. And if I go and right click on the left side off of it, you see right click works perfectly fine. So it's not like a Firefox thing, it's just Flash Player. It doesn't recognize right click. Uh, when you right click on flash move you're supposed to get your shortcut menu um, telling you about flash player yada 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 yada. I don't get that. So then we come to our other issue again going with right click is right clicking itself specifically to the um, MacBook itself so to say because um, I don't think the drivers are quite there yet. This is what I was talking about before in my first um, Linux video I did uh, that drivers usually are an issue with Linux and here's another great example of it uh, if I go through and try and do the two finger tap to right click it's stubborn on getting it to pop up I sometimes have to try it a couple times and what I found out is it's an exact precise timing I have to basically get both of my fingers on the keypad at the same time. If I'm a little bit off, like something like just that little bit there, it's it doesn't work. Well, if you do that in the actual Mac OS, that's acceptable, it works fine. So it's not the hardware, it's the driver. And I must have spent uh, easily two hours looking up uh, various fixes for it. Uh, been told to go through, download additional drivers, uh, install this, change this script, change that script. Uh, I've changed them a couple times, each rebooted every time, and it never seems to work. Now, the only thing I have found that does work is if I go through and hold two fingers on the trackpad and then click the main button, that gets my uh, right-click menu every time. But let's say I want to go through and uh, scroll through an option here or if I'm unfortunate enough to have moved it somehow, it will sometimes take it away. So, like, let's say you have a um, right-click shortcut menu on some things. I've found that doing that method, it'll sometimes make the menu go away. It's, it's kind of unpredictable on that. So there's another issue uh, that's driver-related. I decided to go through and try and use my... Uh, eyesight camera which you'll see right there but none of the drivers work for it I have Snow Leopard on uh, the Mac side of this and apparently the way the drivers work for this is it goes through and extracts them from the Macintosh partition and uses them to load into Linux and all that in summary um, the Snow Leopard drivers just don't work. Uh, I've gone through the steps, step by step. It just says unable to even mount the partition for it, even though I can go through under um, 
you know, places. I can easily connect to my Mac OS partition, no problem. Uh, and for some reason, the uh, Linux can connect to it, but the utility can't. Even if I go through and specify the uh, full path to it, you know, under you know, root media Mac OS, it won't take it. It's it's weird. It's supposed to, but it it doesn't. So uh, I could probably fool around with that some more, but uh, I really shouldn't have to. It should be one of those things that just work. Uh, on top of that, uh, I've gone through and uh, done some updates to the system. You know, going under uh, system. Administration, Update Manager, probably going to have some more today. Yeah, it threatens me because I'm running on battery. And I did some updates in here, and I found that basically my um, wireless will just now drop off now, after I did some updates initially. I could be using it for like an hour, two hours, and the wireless will just say it's disconnected. Um, other wireless devices connected to the same work, uh, network stay connected. Uh, no problem there. But I go through and uh, tell it um, after it goes through and loses that connection to reconnect, it never reconnects. Uh, the only way I've found to make that reconnect is literally to close the lid on the MacBook, put it in sleep mode, open it back up, and it'll connect. Even if I put the password in, whatnot. Uh, speaking of wireless, we've got Bluetooth there. I go through every time I turn off the Bluetooth and I restart the computer and guess what? It's turned back on. That's a setting I wanted to keep. And I've dug through the preferences here and I'm guessing I could probably uncheck show Bluetooth icon, but I do want it to be up there so I could turn it on when I want to use it. There's no point in me having Bluetooth on if I'm not actively using it. It just broadcasts stuff I don't want it to. Uh, I've tried going under like administration, see if there's like a utility for it here to change it. Uh, there is none. Uh, I've gone under preferences, I've checked under here. I see Bluetooth, and it brings me up the same thing I just showed you. So there's no way for me to keep that off. Now, given I could probably go through and screw around with some uh, configuration file, but the point I'm trying to make here is the Linux interface is not giving me any way to do that out of the box without digging into some configuration file. And in my opinion, that's not acceptable for a, a modern operating system to be doing that kind of stuff. Um, I have gone through, and just for the heck of it, I've installed a NES emulator. That works fine. Um, it did have an odd interface where I have to basically configure the keys for it, but um, that's just one little oddity. Uh, went through, had no problems with that. Um, I think I said before I couldn't use Bluefish Editor. I started using Eclipse, and Eclipse works pretty good still. Um, but I found that uh, sometimes the FTP plugins for it can be really slow, um, especially compared to um, what you call it, FileZilla. And of course, I can't use cheese because the webcam doesn't work. <laughs> and uh, so far, that's generally it. I was looking for a way to go through and manage all the devices in the system, kind of like the Windows Device Manager. There's really nothing in here uh, to allow me to manage devices in the same way that uh, Windows, so to say, gives me an option to um, at least built into it. And I figure I'll go ahead and ask you guys uh, what you think would be a good utility to use. 
programs like hardware drivers uh, there it goes through checks and it really only kind of shows you what it uh, knows about for a few things it's kind of limited I found uh, it doesn't do too much because uh, that's what I get <laughs> it doesn't really do too much I have seen it go through and give me some information for other things like um, when I did the um, VMware video it was showing me things like I found the graphics card and whatnot and had to use some proprietary stuff for that but th that's not helping me with like the camera um, I'd like to see that it doesn't recognize my camera. What else is it not recognizing my system? Um, does it have issues with something else I don't know about, maybe? That would be nice. I know there's some command line utilities I could use and some system files I can go through and check. But again, my point is I shouldn't have to go through, dig through a bunch of configuration files just to find out that something's not installed or not running I want a program that's just going to flat out tell me now this is what I'm getting at on my is Linux right for you video it Linux just has too many things even still it seems that are just manual configuration type stuff I mean I can work around it and whatnot but I don't want to waste a lot of my time going through and installing a whole bunch of stuff. I stopped using SUSE Linux, S-U-S-E, I think I'm pronunciating it right. I don't really hear people say it too often, so. Um, I stopped using the free version of that because literally I was installing packages for packages for packages and uh, there's only so many of those I'll do before I say um, the hell with it <laughs> and just go and They'll just delete it. So, but that seems to be the issue so far. Um, the wireless um, randomly disconnecting, the Bluetooth. Um, I just can't keep it off. The right click sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Um, I can force it to work when I want, but then it screws around with right click menus at times. Um, evolution emails just flat out a piece of junk in my opinion uh, and I could put on here Thunderbird if I really wanted to but um, it's it's just not uh, a version of Thunderbird I like so to say but uh, yeah that's it the summary of it so if you guys have any uh, suggestions on that um, we'll keep on going with it. Like I said, I'm going to try this for a month and keep going with it, but uh, someone did suggest that I should try Mint Linux, and I've done some research on it, and a lot of people are complaining about similar things as far as the bugs with um, Ubuntu 10.04 and Mint. Uh, they're basically the same at the moment, uh, but I will do a review of that, uh, but I'll do a review of Mint itself. I'm not going to go through and wipe this system out and reload it because um, if I did that for every single Linux distribution there is I would just be spending a god awful amount of time on that. So uh, until next time I'll see you later.